what up guys so today I'm gonna show you how I made my major plate <laughs> The major plate that they wanted us to do is a bungalow. So a bungalow is a single story house and they gave us a lot where we would put the house in. So this is the floor plan. I'm gonna show it to you properly later. So. And these are the front and rear elevation. That's what the house would look like at the front and at the back. Then we have the left and right elevations right here. I don't know about other schools, but we use tracing paper here. I also have the site development plan. Okay, so I haven't made the, what do you call this, the sections. So I'll be time lapsing that video so you can guys see the process or a fast time lapse process, how it is. By the way, sorry for my appearance. It's hell week for us. I just passed my major plate in design yesterday and I didn't sleep for 10 hours so I started at 10 and then ended at 7 a.m. so it's real <laughs> Archie do Archie students do not sleep maybe a, a little bit but we have like relaxed sleep man <laughs> sorry I'm so sleepy <laughs> Through the video, it got harder to see because of the light that came through the window. So I'm gonna explain how sections are decided on, or how we decide which one goes here, stuff like that. So you actually need to look at your floor plan first to decide that. So you can see that there's these arrows here with the letter A and a letter B. So that's the section, that's where you decide the sections. To get the sections, you need to find the middle of the lot. So you actually, um, from point end point from the other end point, 
you draw a line there and find the middle. So that's where you start your sections. And then you divide it horizontally and vertically. And so you imagine cutting cutting your house and that's what the section is. So you cut it and then you show what you could see inside. So in our graphics, we don't need to put furnitures or render it. So we just put the toilet and sinks, or in architecture we call it water closet and the lavatory. Because they are fixtures, you cannot take them out or you cannot remove them. They stay there, unlike furnitures where you can move and replace toilets. Can you can't do that with toilets? So that's my video, and probably when it's sem break, I would discuss more about what I've learned. So yeah, this is my workplace. So messy. So. That's all for it, guys. So, see you in the next Arc Adventure. Bye bye.